How to Be Orange, Chapter 24. Dutch Identity, A New Ombudsman. The quote, Willem Alexander looks good as a queen. Overheard on Dom Square. As of this writing, the Dutch identity crisis is still in plain sight. According to the polls, the Dutch don't trust their leadership to steer the country out of the crisis. They no longer feel confident about their place in the European Union, and they're not as good at football or soccer as they would like. There's one bright note that brings a lot of Dutch together. The Dutch royal family. At the abdication of Queen Beatrix, her approval rating was overwhelming. The investiture of King Willem Alexander was a flawless event, a rare international display of Dutch pride. Even the protesters gave grudging approval. The loudest anti-monarchists these days are in the Socialist Party. Yes, if you're keeping score, Dutch Republicans are socialist. Instead of boycotting the investiture or refusing to pledge their allegiance to the king, the socialists decided not to dress up or even to wear ties. The result, where I was watching, was less, wow, what a statement, but more, ugh, who let them in? Is this indeed what the anti-monarchist Willem van Oranje would have wanted for his country? Sometimes I think back to that seminar on Dutch identity. Who are we? If I could go back to that panel, there are a few things I'd like to say. I took the Dutch assimilation course, and I thought it was great. It might not hurt for everyone to take it. Dutch people too. Let's just call it a universal participation contract, if you like. You are about to participate in the grand experiment known as Dutch society. Rembrandt, Leeuwenhoek, Tasman, they're all Dutch, but also Spinoza, Descartes, even Willem of Orange, Van Doutzen Blut, they're all immigrants. You've got some pretty big shoes to fill, immigrant. Do your best. Sign here. It's all there in black and white and orange. The Netherlands is the first republic in the world. You had the world's first multinational company, the first stock exchange, the first multi-ethnic colony in the new world, and the inspiration for the American dream. The Dutch have a lot of unique selling points in the world. Indeed, from dikes breaking to oil spilling to global warming, Dutch people have answers to a lot of the world's problems. The problem is the rest of the world doesn't know about it. The rest of the world should give the Dutch more credit, but they can't, not as long as the Dutch refuse to give themselves any credit. Nederland, take some credit. I get it. You're Dutch. Being proud or chauvinistic, it's not in your DNA. But you can learn. Stop saying full is full. If the land gets too full, you'll just make more. You're Dutch. Stop saying our economy is in trouble. You still have some of the lowest unemployment in Europe. You're Dutch. Stop saying you're afraid of Islam taking over your culture. You're Dutch. Half the Muslims in the world started out half Dutch already. Maybe the Dutch anthem really should be... Wilhelmus von Nassau. I come from German blood and French and Spanish and Turkish and Moroccan and Surinamese and Indonesian and American. And you know what? The more the better. And as proof of the benefits of cultural diversity, there's me. I'm Dutch enough to be proud of the Dutch and American enough not to care how loud I am about it.